Hello, everybody. I just recently found out that someone ponified Final Fantasy VI, and I grew up with that game. And it occurred to me that ponies make everything better, no matter how it's executed or what the original premise actually was. So, here we go. I think I'm just gonna play this game and, and say what comes to mind. Here we go. One thousand years ago, the War of Chaos left the world shattered, and magic was almost wiped out entirely. Oh, that's really sad. You know, Wars of Chaos will do that, just wipe out all magic. Uh, that's what war is good for, wiping out magic. Few in number and almost powerless, the unicorns faded into obscurity. Aw, poor unicorns. I guess we won't be seeing a lot of them. Oh, there's one! Hey, I'm really sorry to hear about the obscurity of your race. Oh gosh, it's like being in the room with someone when you tell a joke about them. But unicorn magic doesn't happen without a reason. Uh, but for some ponies, greed is reason enough. Which is really strange, because I thought that unicorns were just born. Or they just had magic, like it was really run-of-the-mill. Is that like... You know, sometimes interracial marriages, it does, all you need is greed for, like, sexy booty. Maybe interracial marriage isn't really comparable to weaponized magic. Is history doomed to repeat itself, or can the magic of friendship make a difference? Okay, now wait a minute, why is friendship in quotations? Is this like a, a special kind of friendship that really means something that... Oh, oh, wait, wait, don't start the game. Oh gosh, it's wrapping up. I, I don't think I understand the premise. Can we have more opening reels? Uh, no, we'll just get the shot of the precipice. Okay. It's a nice stick there. That stick might have once been a small tree trying to survive in a harsh environment, but it just couldn't pull through. Poor stick. I can see the town now. Still quite a march from here. Actually, it looks like it's straight down there, so kind of a direct fall, although that's not a very efficient mode of travel. Think we can trust our intel? I find it hard to believe an Asper has been frozen there for 1,000 years. What else is hard to believe is that if elves were real, their number one killer would be domestic accidents. Do you think it'd wake up if we thaw it out? Snail says, probably, those beasts are nearly immortal. See, because elves have long lifespans, but they could still fall off a ladder. Why do we bring this unicorn? She doesn't look like she can handle herself in a fight. Except for the big armor and the laser weapons, which are kind of intimidating. She's our new living weapon. She easily killed 50 of our best warriors in only three minutes. Wait a minute, she mass murdered 50 of our warriors and we gave her a robot suit with lasers? Don't worry with that crown on her head. She's just a puppet for us to control. Well, yeah, but what if the crown stops working? I mean, she killed 50 of our best soldiers, and we are clearly not the best soldiers. The east side is our best approach vector. Move out. So, I don't know for sure if Snips and Snails are officers, or what's the situation, but I feel like they only have a really tentative grasp on what they're doing. For one thing, they're going to a little town in the giant robot suits, and they've never seen an Esper before, but they're supposed to be finding one, and they're traveling around with a pony mass murderer who killed 50 of their own guys, and... You know, I don't know, I, I just don't have a lot of confidence here. I mean, who assigns who gets to wear the giant pieces of armor? Because if this is like a special ops thing, why are we wearing like the giant line breaker suits? Because those seem like things that we would attack an army with. Okay, so does everyone have passports? Because this is a special ops mission and we don't want to blow our cover. We'll put the girl on point. I don't want to be number 51 if something goes wrong. Forward! Well, here we go with our crack team of specialists. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Oh, hello. Uh, no, I, I have a passport. Hang on, I have that! Okay, okay, uh, so things have gone badly. Uh, all, right, all right, new plan. Just kill all the witnesses. Use the fire and the missiles and, and, the, and the healing powers and uh, just, I, I don't know, just gas everybody. Is, are there rules about that? Is there a convention? I mean, I mean, diplomacy is broken down. Does it even matter anymore? Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, crisis averted. So all we have to do now is just lay low and not start a war on foreign soil. I mean, it should be really easy, right? Uh oh, oh no! They've got dogs. <laughs> oh my God! No biting, please. Uh, just, just, just gas the dogs. I'm sure that it is. Is that a crime? Is that? I think that's like killing the police. So, uh, oh no, oh no! We're gonna get court-martialed. So, you're probably mad. Ah! Okay, we totally deserve this one. Um, maybe just, just do the gassing again, and uh, if no one lives, then no one will know. Man, how are we even gonna get through customs in these things? They're gonna be like, sir. Is this, is this a gas weapon? And we were gonna be like, no. So, we're surrounded now. That's a pretty good sign of, of an organized police force. I think that maybe somebody knows that we're breaking laws. Yeah. Our whole, our whole plan is kind of broken down, maybe. So, it, it does seem like we have a really good combat advantage, though. Maybe we could just, like, take over the whole town. Just us three. And then we could go home, and, and we wouldn't get court-martialed, because they'd be like, oh... Good job on, on conquering that whole city and everything. I mean, that wasn't in the plan, but we did give you the big robot suit and everything, and... 
I mean, like, there is only three of us, though, so... Maybe, do you think that people would, would cooperate with this, or would they, like, passively resist? Oh god, they sent bears! Well, oh, there was four of you just a second ago. I guess two of them, like, slipped when they jumped and they broke their legs or something. Oh well, they're all gassed now. So, is anyone else feeling remorse being replaced by acceptance? Because cause I'm starting to notice a, a chain of, of no repercussions for our actions. And I feel like that's pretty good. According to our intel, the frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. Well, I sure hope so, because these giant clunky robot suits can't fit anywhere else, and I am not leaving it behind at this point. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm probably just going to sleep in mine. It seems safest. So, giant rats, we meet again. Man, why can't we have, like, one video game without giant rats as an enemy? You just think that maybe, like, rats would just stay clear of the giant fire weapons. I mean, you could hear us coming for miles. Why would they actively attack us? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, like, most heroes have some kind of gland, and it secretes a lot of confidence, but also it smells like cheese, and so it just attracts rodents. That would make sense, I guess. A gate made out of bamboo! Stand back, I'll handle this! You know, when you have a really flimsy gate set up, it's really mostly just a formality. I mean, everyone is supposed to politely respect that you're not supposed to go in that area. It's no admittance. It's really for our own benefit. Well. Oh god, they sent the giant snail! They're serious now! Hold it, think back to our briefing. Oh god, I wish I was there for that briefing. <laughs> so, you guys are gonna take this mass murderer and you're gonna walk into town and there is gonna be a giant snail. We're not 100% positive on where your objective is located, but we are 100% positive about the snail. And also, we know about its anatomy and magic and stuff. I mean, can you imagine? Someone actually had to go to that town, like a spy, and they had to sit around and gain extensive information about the snail, but never find out where they had the thing that we wanted. I mean, maybe we just, like, heard about the snail and the thing that we want, and, and we didn't really do any actual intelligence gathering. But, like, one guard is, like, totally proud of this snail. Like, he's just telling everybody, like, Oh my gosh, guys, I totally trained this snail to be on our team. It eats lightning, and I am so totally gonna get a girlfriend from this thing. Oh, yeah, I guess it's gonna hide inside its shell now. See, that's kind of the problem with snail warriors, is, is they do that. Maybe we should just, like, go around it while it's hiding. Oh god, it killed Twilight! And, and Twilight killed, like, 50 of our own guys. Well, that doesn't bode well for our guys. Our guys must be, like, 50 times worse than this snail, apparently. Well, maybe we should look into, like, training a snail team, a, a snail division. An all-snail warrior team. I mean, they wouldn't be fast, but you could put them in places, and... And they would... they would stay there. Oh, hello! Yeah, you came back. I mean, it's not safe still, but... But I mean, like, at least you won't let us just walk around you, because that was what we're gonna do. Oh! Oh, uh-oh. Oh, I think I caused some kind of instability in the snail. Oh, he... Something's happening to him. Oh, he's gone. Yay, we killed the snail! Alright, we can totally put that on our list of accomplishments when we go home. We'll tell all our superiors. We'll be like, we killed the snail! Uh, oh, unless maybe, like, the snail was an endangered animal, and then we made it extinct? We should probably look up that snail in an encyclopedia or something before we tell anyone. Oh, this is the thing we're looking for. Is it, is it better than the snail? Or worse? I can't tell. Why would you use an endangered snail to guard this thing? I mean, like, how is the life of that snail more valuable than the whatever this is? Or, or, or less valuable? I, it, I can't really tell the relative values. Maybe this thing makes more snails, or, or it attracts them. Is that why we want it? So we can train our own snail division? Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, well, it looks like it makes snails go away. And snips too. That's not good. Without supervision, I'm liable to kill again. I, I really, um... Oh no, what's happening now? Oh, okay, I'm exploding. Oh. Well, I guess I'm dead and the game is over. I can't tell if I won or if I lost, but I had a lot of fun. And I thank everybody for, for playing with me.